Hey guys, this is Matthias, and some of you have asked me for some air-to-air -air gameplay using the Hornet missiles, and yes, this is that video. Uh, now my first engagement here is against a Liberator, and I'll be honest, when I noticed that this Liberator was going for me, I actually just went uh, the opposite direction, and I hoped that it would just ignore me. Now that was not the case, so I decided that yeah, I'll take the risk and I'll try to take it out with the Hornets. Now you might wonder why I'm not using the nose gun, but that's because in this particular case I have the Banshee. And yeah, I'm sure you understand that I spawned this Mossy for anything else than air to air. See, obviously I didn't get the kill with the Hornet missiles, but at least I did uh, most of the damage with them. And in this video you'll see quite a bit of that. I'm able to uh, deal some damage with the Hornet missiles, but I might not be able to finish my opponent off with them. And the thing of it is that once an ESF has taken a certain amount of damage, they normally start flying in a way that makes them harder to hit. And the moment an ESF is dodging or flying fast, it is really hard to hit them with the Hornets. Goal, but yeah, as you can see, it's not impossible. But these kinds of hits, they are few and far between. So now because of how these laser guided missiles work, you need to be able to see them as they are traveling from your ESF to the target. And many times this is impossible, at least if you're in first person mode. Like in this case, I can't see them and I don't know how to angle my ESF or to aim it in order for them to hit. Now, in, uh, in the future, I might actually experiment with uh, moving to third-person view when I fire these missiles. It's, it's probably, uh, it probably takes a little bit of getting used to and probably takes a little bit of practice. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any footage of doing that in this particular video. Now, in most cases, the way I've been using the Hornets for air-to-air -air is uh, when I'm reloading and uh, I never really had as an intention of getting the kill with uh, the Hornets. It, it just ended up being a lucky shot and uh, here is one more of those examples. Oh, yeah, uh, that bug keeps coming and going. Oh, Valkyrie. Where? Uh, between Crown and the Impact site. And there's a Reaver too. I hope he doesn't see me. Yeah, well, I'm... Ah, oh, fuck, I wanted to... Uh, I wanted to hit him with the Hornets. No! Stop dodging. Don't whoa, worry, whoa, whoa. Okay. I, I, I got it. Fuck you! There he is. Well, I know you need the help, so... And you can't can deny... Confirm. I heard the panic in his voice. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna resupply again. In Rocky Poles are annoying. Yeah, go resupply. Way. I'm gonna kill you when you're in the low... low, low <laughs> bad. Fuck him. <laughs> oh, I flew into a rock. Noise. Fuck, that's no vision. Not just ruined my KD. Oh no! Why did you log my KD? Why didn't you log off for fuck's sake? <laughs> so yeah, here comes the first example where I used the uh, uh, Hornet missiles intentionally uh, for an uh, ESF kill. And uh, yeah, you see me use the nose gun as well in order to damage them because I know that two rockets isn't going to be enough to get the kill. But uh, yeah, it's gonna take me a little bit longer to get uh, to kill this Reaver than it normally would. I do switch to the Saron a little bit here and there in order to damage him a bit because I want to make sure that if I am able to hit him then that is actually going to be a kill. The farm! <laughs> That's too good. No! Oh, That's a Ubiso Jazz right now. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> oh, shadow play. Yeah, that was my first kill on an ESF when I intentionally used the Hornet missiles for air to air. The Hornet missiles are much more reliable against the Valkyries, and here I'll show you a couple of kills. Now, the first one here was quite easy, it was on a very close range, but this one was a bit trickier. Oh, that horny missile! Oh my god! Shadow plane. Okay, so we are attacking the crowd, or what are we doing? Eyes on enemy aircraft. I need to level up my magic character. He must save me, the Empress of Cobalt of Destruction. We can't let this facility fall to the enemy. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> A lot in broadcast hub, guys. Lots of shit. Roger that. Hey, we listening in five seconds. Now, watching a video like this, it might give you the impression that the Hornet missiles are much more effective against air than they actually are. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, the kills that you see in this video, they are few and far between. And normally, when I get the kill on an ESF, I either just finish them off with the Hornets after damaging them with the nose gun, or I hit them once or twice with the Hornets and then I have to finish them off with the nose gun. I also want to let you know that some of the kills that you see here and some of the hits with the Hornet missiles on uh, enemy SFs are actually made only for the purpose of making this video. I wouldn't uh, play like this if it wasn't for the sake that uh, if it wasn't for the fact that I was going to cover it here on my YouTube channel. So that also is something that factors in. I have to admit though that when I get these hits on an enemy SF, it is really satisfying and it's really fun to play this way. Uh, however, you uh, you are going to put yourself in risk if you do that. And if you know that you're up against an experienced pilot, I would recommend you not to try this out. I mean, you, of course, you can get a lucky shot and uh, when you're reloading, you might as well try. But other than that, stick with the nose gun. Now, there are times where I actually would recommend you to use the Hornets uh, against the aircraft. And that is if you're able to sneak up on them and hit them in a surprise attack. The damage output is well worth it and then you can just finish them off with your nose gun. If you're able to get in a situation where you are above a hovering Liberator or Galaxy for example, then the nose gun is uh, just going to tip them off to your presence and to the threat and uh, they will be able to react before you're able to do all that much damage. And here you'll see one of those examples. My plan is to hit him with 200 missiles before he knows I'm here and uh, then I want to finish him off with the serum. Now in this particular case uh, they still focus on the ground targets and it gives me the opportunity to hit them once more leaving them burning which of course makes it a lot harder for the pilot to control the liberator and he crashes when he attempts to land for the repairs. That's better. Like fucking implants. It's just so boring. And um, yeah, where where did you go? Not much happening actually. It's like crossroads. I think it's the biggest Zerg known to mankind. I think so. Oh, I'm so oh, gonna die yeah. now. Oh, oh, he bailed. I swear to God, I was about to basically suicide only to hit him with the fucking hornets. Oh fuck! One the thing. Oh, servant uh, pump. Anyone want to help me kill it? Yeah, coming. Yeah. Reaver in the area. And he also flies away. Love it. Well, he's got the engagement radar. Be careful. He has. Yeah, that's overpowered. Level fuck. level eight. Yeah. Engagement radar. I mean, what is wrong with these people? Uh, Crown has a lot of. Stuff. So yeah, that's it, guys. A little bit of uh, Hornet missiles for air to air, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, maybe I'll come out with another one similar to this. I will definitely come out with more Hornet missiles uh, videos, though, because I have plenty on my hard drive. Uh, anyway, there are a few more minutes left. I say thank you all for watching. And bye for now. I actually met a guy in Cobalt whose name is Lazy J. He's on tier. Or.
What? Yes. Hello, guys. Oh. I wish I shot a play on the internet. That's gross. TR mosquito spotted. Why is that guy still flying? Oh, fucking hell, this action. There's a guy right deep into NC territory, and no one's doing anything to kill him. Tower next to the ammo tower almost dead. Oh, I, I am almost dead. Oh, I can fire suppress. 